Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna and uh, on this channel I'm talking about Germany and Austria and about life here as a foreigner because uh, I'm from Russia and I'm living currently in Austria. But today our topic is Germany and I got for you 16 reasons why you should move to Germany and probably in 2020. Let's jump right into this and with the first reason is the low unemployment rates and of course the strong economy. Because German economy is the biggest and strongest in Europe and the fourth biggest in the world. Uh, I think it's so strong that even this coronavirus uh, not uh, gonna collapse it. And Germany still uh, can support businesses and people of their country to stay and fight with this virus and not go broke instead of this. Currently, Germany has an unemployment rate with a 3.2%. Um, it's one of the lowest in Europe and actually even in some very good and very, um, uh, very developed countries like Sweden or Finland, unemployment rate is way higher, around 88%. And of course, Spain is more or less 15% and uh, France 8%. In comparison, Germany is just doing great. You don't have to worry about job here because there are almost no people who is unemployment. And they unemployed probably because they just don't want to work. Uh, usually you can always find some job. Next one nice for tourism is the sightseeing. Germany has got a lot of sightseeing. It welcomes so many visitors each year. In fact, 40 million of people coming to Germany for a tourism reason and not only because of Oktoberfest. Obviously, there are so many things to see and to do. Uh, when you move here, you uh, get a chance to live here. You can do all this stuff just in your country, travel around Germany, what people come here from US, from China, from Russia, they come here to Germany from so far to, to see what you already has and you just have really easy access to all this beauty of, um, of Germany, all these castles, architecture, old cities. As the Germany is one of the oldest countries in Europe, it has got so many historical buildings and just something what has history behind of this. And of course it's nature, it has sea in the north and mountains in the south. You can do so many even activities uh, with the nature and just come here and explore the nature. The third reason, also good for travelers, for people who love to travel, is the travel opportunities because Germany located right in the middle of the Europe, is within a border with the nine countries. So you can travel to all these nine countries very easy. In fact, you can take a train most of the time. There are plenty of trains to all these countries. Or you can take a short flight or you can drive with your vehicle. and. Finally, you can take a flex bus. What I did in uh, my times when I was a, um, on a low bed budget and I could not fly so much, so I will take just flex bus and go from town to town um, internationally. Uh, it takes a little bit longer, but it will cost you like 20 euro. So if you love to travel, come here because you're gonna explore so much, so you would not be able to do this from your country probably. Otherwise you have to fly all the time from your country, what is expensive and of course time consuming. The fourth reason is of course uh, why migrants come here, Germany is so attractive, because of work opportunities. There are so many jobs available for high educated people and low educated people and not educated people, but especially for skilled people with a good academic background like uh, doctors, scientists, researchers, uh, like biologists, all these uh, science professions, we get really good opportunities. We would just, Germany will just offer them all the best. And all these medical workers see we have a lot of uh, deficit, we have big deficit in uh, 
a nursing for example we need a lot of nurses we actually come here germany supports them a lot of doctors come from abroad from india from many different countries like pakistan we come here to work uh, Germany supports them and welcome them and offer these opportunities. So take this chance, come here and find your dream job with a dream salary, of course. The fifth one, it's also good for workers because uh, you got work workers get protected and they get a lot of benefits. So it's uh, employee protection and benefits. Because as you uh, sign up your contract, you uh, can't work without a contract, right? Uh, when you uh, find a job, you sign up contract and there will be written down all your rights. And normally, employee will get all these rights, what is good news, but employer always has to favor employee, what is not a good news for a business owner, right? But as an employee, don't have to worry about termination, sick days, sick days are paid, maternity leave, um, of course it's also paid and you got three years uh, of maternity leave, Employee, employer can't terminate you of course and we will provide you uh, maternity pay uh, for around eight weeks before and after birth but after you will be supported by the government. Of course other perks like a vacation it's very important because a lot of people move here because of vacation because you work so hard you deserve your vacation and germany gives you at least 24 days and so normally you can get uh, up to 30 it depends up to the, up to the company but you can uh, really rely on uh, around like one month of the vacation in a year and additionally you're not allowed to work in the holidays uh, and like public holidays and in the Sundays so you will be always free of course from work so it's additional around like 14 days for a public holidays in a year and Sundays are free um, in any case uh, you will most likely not overwork because over time it's not common in Germany you will work like around uh, 35 to 40 hours per week without overtime so if overtime happens you will get paid for this no worries but usually people don't do overtime the sixth reason it's of course beer it was my reason when i came here i was obsessed with the beer i was like hungry for a beer i would go and try different beers explore the flowers because it tastes freaking awesome and you will find different beers in different regions so you can explore uh, while traveling uh, different tastes and traditions uh, which comes with a beer. Each beer serves in different glass. It uh, looks different, it tastes different and you will find your favorite, I'm sure, because everybody has their favorite beer. And, but be aware, if you come to the region where, for example, like Weizen is a wheat beer, like in Bavaria, it's tradition. And if you order in restaurant uh, one beer, please, uh, we will bring you local beer. So you have to always specialize uh, w which exactly beer you want. Because in local, um, in, in the, this region, we drink only this beer and uh, it's uh, just common. So if you prefer um, ha uh, wheat beer, always order wheat beer because don't say just one beer as your German friends will do most of the time. Uh, Germany has actually like thousands of breweries and hundreds of different beers. You can uh, explore this and um, find out what you like and you can just try each day or each weekend new beer and uh, you will never probably try all of them. Uh, if you are really beer enthusiast, I recommend you to move here and you will never be upset with the quality of beer because quality is the world best. Germany has stricted uh, ingredients, we follow the rules and you will never get like upset, you know, with the taste of your beer king. We all taste really good. The seminar reason uh, comes with a beer, what? Of course, food. The food is also the world best quality and uh, Taste. If you are a meat lover, you will find it just a paradise because Germany eats a lot of like uh, sausages, 
and schnitzel, as you know. So it's a um, big focus on meat, also potatoes, but not only this, you know, each region has different specialities. Like when you travel, you explore different meals, you like something, something not. It's a lot of to explore. It's not on the, you know, schnitzel and fries. So it's, it's just much more on a regional basis. And I think uh, there are always something for, you, for everyone. Uh, overall, you can also eat internationally because Germany has got so many international restaurants. If you're in a big city, you have got a lot of options. Of course, most uh, famous are um, like Italian food and uh, Chinese food. No, not Chinese, I think probably Japanese. Italian and Japanese we will find everywhere. Italian food is really great because Italy is not so far. So we get this quality and you can see a lot of Italians working here. Usually if I'm in Austria now, I go to Italian place. I see Italians working there and it's really nice, right? So you not get like a pizza from a Turkish guy. Also bread, I have to mention bread is a part of the food, of course. If you like bread, you will love German bread. Because once you try German bread, you will never go back to what you, you have eaten before, what you ate before. It will blow your mind because we have over 300 different sorts of bread and they're all really good quality and fresh and so tasty. Like, I love German bread. Like, Austrian kind of same, but German is unique. And I always miss, you know, the just the bread bakery goods here when I travel to another country. And one one more point to the food, it's a quality of food because uh, food is very, has a very high standards and it's very safe and uh, protected by law. So um, people they, who produce food or also in restaurants, we just can't put something like chemicals or some shit, we can't put it in your food. It has to be fresh, well made, protected for your health, so you are not, you know, you not destroy your your health. It's it's good for your body, and you can be sure because Germany is very strict with this law, and uh, they they check all products before sell them. I never had some problems, and it's always tastes like very natural. You will you will you will recognize it because Germany it's. Um, yeah, food is very high quality and very natural, like just original food. Uh, compare, for example, I have heard in in the US where we put a lot of like stuff in the food and it's like kind of like fake food or, you know, like very low quality food. So you um, you damage your actually nutrition, uh, you know, just your organism, your body. So it's very, very, I think, uh, bad that you live in this country and you just eat this food and you don't know even. But in Germany you would not have these problems. The eighth reason why you should move to Germany and if you have some problems with your health, you're gonna get fixed it because Germany has the, one of the world best healthcare and, and one of the actually more affordable, most affordable, because you only have to pay for your insurance where you can pay like 100 euro per month, but you get all your bills covered by the insurance company. So you are not paying, if you are insured by the public insurance, you are not even paying, but you just come there, show your card, and it's already automatically paid, you know, your, your insurance card. I think it's a huge advantage because many countries has this problem when you have to pay from your uh, pocket from your own money to the doctors and then you just you pay your money and it's uh, quite a lot I mean this is something what we get Ryan Bus here or already get paid from the insurance companies so I so get used to that all my medicaments and all my treatments and stuff are paid by the insurance that I would really like be not comfortable to pay that amount of money from my own money so it's very uncommon here. And of course, healthcare is the, one of the world best healthcare. You will see the quality, what we use, like uh, techniques and technologies and everything. And you will uh, very easy and also quite fast get a doctor uh, attention, get an appointment. 
I never had problem with this actually. I never had to wait like people say I have to wait one month or two months. No, maybe like okay one week. Maybe I had to wait like one two weeks, but I don't think I have late. I have to wait more than this. The ninth reason it's a German mentality. If you like people who are straightforward, very reliable people, just the people you can trust, you can work with them, uh, you can. Uh, you know, you would not surprise by their behavior, they're not that emotional, you know, they are very um, back, like um, laid back, I think, and uh, a little bit reserved. So it's not like this is some people, they will just, uh, you know, mix their emotions, mix their private life, working life. Germans are, they like a little bit like machine, like robots, they are very easy to handle, there are no surprises, they are very punctual, of course, uh, they are very honest. So I really appreciate this um, characteristic mentality uh, of Germans, because uh, I like how we behave and then I can just uh, believe them, I, I'm sure that they are not liars, they are not just blah blah blah, you know, they are not uh, just speaking around, they will go straight to the point, tell you everything, what you should to know, and it's like, it's just efficient, straight, just best. The 10 reason to move to Germany is affordable cost of living, but also housing. In comparison to uh, Western countries, uh, even in Europe, it's relatively cheap here. The cost of living, if you are single, you will live quite good life uh, under 2000 euro per month. Uh, depending on uh, which region, in the east uh, you will have a really good life, it's weird, unexpensive region. In the south, things getting be more expensive, so you will also earn, of course, more, but housing going to be more expensive in the south, so you will be paying maybe like around 1000 euro for uh, your apartment if you're single, and in the east you can pay twice less, like 500 in some Dresden or Leipzig, city like that, so it depends on which region, but overall I'm sure it's less than in many other countries, even than Italy. Italy actually is more expensive than uh, Germany in some way. Some things are, can be more cheap, yeah, but some things are more expensive. And overall, Germany wins in many situations and you can save money in a lot of things. Of course, you can spend a lot as well, but in a way of... Uh, it's, it's just clever, it's just clever for your pocket to live here. You, you earn good money and you can uh, uh, also sustain in the, your lifestyle and also save some money. It's how Germans are actually living because we can save a lot of money uh, because of this affordable cost of living and housing. The eleventh reason, it's a German autobahn. Uh, if you like to drive fast, it's the uh, best way to uh, travel or to commute. You will be lightning fast because there are in the, most of the places there are no speed limitation. You probably already heard about autobahn, so it's a very easy way of traveling because you can uh, access to the many cities. Usually, the main cities are connected well with the autobahn to entire Germany and you can also connect to the autobahn to the small cities also from the village you can just drive to the autobahn and so you're already in the highway autobahn does the best it's because Germans appreciate their time they want to save time on commuting and in, uh, in traveling so we built this autobahn because it's kind of like part of the German mentality and I think it's the best way of traveling because you can cross uh, kilometers you can cross a distance just in a in a minutes so if you are like to travel by car or you have to commute Germany is the, I, I'm sure it's the best country in Europe to do it fast efficient and just in the best way the 12th reason is Sundays they are lazy Sundays if you like this kind of uh, weekend like Sunday just uh, be lazy go uh, for a coffee or go for a brunch so Germany is the best place because it's only one uh, only one of the a few countries in uh, I think in the world where 
and Sunday is nothing opens because uh, there are the law and shops and everybody are not allowed to work in Sunday so we close everything people can just go walking doing some sports or enjoy themselves enjoy time with the friends and kind of be lazy and laid back so if you love this kind of Sunday, Germany is a great place. You're just in the mood because you are seeing all these people. They're just like, you know, like lazy dogs. Like it's it's just uh, just a mood, you know, here atmosphere. So uh, it's it's very um, very no hurry atmosphere. Nothing is happening. Uh, it's like a little bit sleepy. Uh, but also fun because people are drinking most of the time or we have this coffee and cake uh, time so you if you like this kind of uh, weekend you will love it here the 13th reason is of uh, course public transportation and how efficient and uh, it's very functional very efficient well developed so you don't have to worry how you can get from point A to point B. There always will be or train or bus. Usually the bus, buses are going everywhere. So you can even get from the one small village by, by bus to the city or to the other village. Like there are all the time something will bring you somewhere. Never like, you know, you're standing there. Oh my God, I don't know how to, how I can get from this place to another place because I don't have a vehicle and there are nothing that's going there. There are always built with the way and it's most of the time efficient way. In the big cities you got the subway what is very very nice thing because you can travel like lightning fast and underground and it's very easy accessible you don't have to go down that far. Like Russia has the the tiefest like you know the longest subway in the in the world like a deepest you have to go like half an hour down so in underground it's it's kind of like time consuming in the, in russian i lived in st petersburg we got a subway but it's so time consuming i'm gonna go deep down in the ground and then i'm gonna go up to the to the ground again so it's like Damn, I hate it. But here you go to the subway, it's just one minute, you don't go to like down, down, down. And you're already in underground, you just take your train and you can switch and you're on a point. So there are a lot of public transportation ways. Also in the underground, like trams and also I don't know how, there are some different kind of trams. So. There are a lot of stuff. It's not like in US you don't know, oh my god, I don't have car, I'm stuck. No, Germany will save you. And I never had a car and I'm not planning to have one, but I'm always finding the way. And many people travel here with the public transportation because it's so good. The 14 reason is diverse uh, landscape because uh, Germany, as I already mentioned, has the sea, it has the mountains, it has a lot of lakes and rivers. I mean, a lot of things. As you move here, you will see it. So each region has a, there some special, uh, special uh, natural diversity uh, and uh, something what they specially produce there, like a wine growing in the east, you know, in the west, uh, like they produce uh, apples in the, in the southwest. So there are a lot of things like the nature 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 diversity things and a lot of people go just to the mountains in the south there are plenty of access to mountains from different points in germany uh, in, in the bavaria and baden württemberg regions and in the north you get the sea because there are also islands which which are part of germany very interesting you can travel to the island and see the life there it's uh, very different um, so people in the, in the, in the summer go just uh, for a vacation, for some vacation uh, to the to the sea and go to the beach. You know, it's uh, very diverse because you have this uh, like cold winters with the snow, and then you have got the sea and uh, the beautiful beach. So I think uh, Germany is one of the most diverse countries in Europe, at least with their very diverse nature. You can basically just travel from one part of the country to another and always explore some uh, nature wonders in uh, each of these parts.
The 15 is to, if you have a hobby, you got a ferrine because uh, ferrine is uh, a club. So it's a club for people with the same hobby. If you're having some also special hobby, maybe you will find a, a club which will uh, accept you most of the time. We accept everyone uh, in their community where you can uh, do this hobby with a group of the people. And it's very kind of commu community thing because you get to know uh, new people and you're spending with them a significant amount of your time. Most of the people are doing this in the weekend sometimes under the week so we meet uh, with this group we're doing something together like very famous is like cycling biking also like hiking uh, but people do all things where like knitting cooking i don't know speaking whatever like you can find everything everything what you like what your hobby is uh, you can find some kind of club just check in your city and internet you will see for sure some it's a non-profit organization we are doing this so you don't have to pay most of the time sometimes you have to pay like very small amount of money you know just to support them in a month or in a year but it's most of the time free just for people with the same interest to uh, you know to share the interest the last one 16 reason moves to germany and why so many people also move here because we want to learn german it's uh, obvious. Germany is the best to learn German. Don't go to Switzerland, don't go to Austria. You would not learn German here properly as you can do in Germany. Because it's already different languages here. But Germany has uh, so many offers like courses. And like I took so many courses in different parts of the Germany. And I always can find more and more there are a lot of like exchanges and I don't know communities, events. You can just uh, go there for a language purpose to exchange in German. You can just communicate with locals, of course, and listen to the people how we speak, what we speak. Um, better go to the north because there you will learn uh, High German, like a Hoch Deutsch, what is uh, like uh, original German with just strong German pronunciation kind of like strong German, hard German, uh, but you will understand better as you will go to the south where it's already like converted with the dialects. You will not really understand what we are talking about. You know, like better go somewhere in the north or in the middle. So stay in the middle, but south a little bit dangerous. So just go to Germany if you want to learn German. It will improve it just ridiculously fast because I came to Germany, I never learned German. Then I started to learn German in Germany and it was like lightning fast. In a half a year I was already very fluent. I think I took it took me one year to learn it from from zero to like B2. And after I learned by myself a little bit. But you will know where I speak of course better German then you are living if you are living in Germany so if you it's it's your wish it's your goal just move to Germany do your best find a way to move here and start learning German as soon as possible that was all my 16 reasons uh, I think it was educatable for you and you will find out something new and why you want to move to Germany now even more and uh, I hope you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more uh, videos about Germany and Austria, about life here, study and work. Also check out my website russianvagabond.com where I'm writing also all about these things. Thank you for watching and I wish you a nice day.